Getting ready for Chicken Man, those crazy adventures of the crime-fighting Cape Capon. Checking in with Parkway High School, the senior class of 1986, going to blow him away on the balk line. We're going to find out just momentarily, but right now, Huey and the News. Love is a curious thing. Uh-huh. Make a one-man weep, make another man sing. Yeah. <laughs> And the news on the Hot Fun FM Tux 99, nine minutes after 7 o'clock, and it's time, once again, for the ultimate experience in crime-fighting craziness, Chicken Man. Now, another exciting episode in the life of the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. <laughs>
like wine. The class of 86 has been through so much together, from Sun City or Bel Air to Curtis, Elm Grove to Parkway. We have shared the good times and the bad, the laughter and the tears. And as I look back now, I remember the things that made it special. Do you remember? at lunch Sweet memory. those big colored combs we carried in our back pockets roller skating every Friday night Quiet sneaking out days Rubik's Cubes YMCA football and cheerleaders and everyone had braces Memories. Our freshman year at PHS will always stay with us. Do you remember our first chance to go to a dance? Everybody was so tall. My memory. The get involved speech. For all that I have left now that you've gone. <laughs> we didn't even dream of a stadium. <sighs> and all the girls falling in love with the seniors. Some of us never fell out of love. Oh, what would I do without my sweet memory? Thanks, class of 86, for the memories and the love. Sweet memory. brought a new idea to Parkway, and that idea became the Black Cat Review. We were rewarded for our patience and dedication in Louisiana, Texas, and Florida competitions, and also became the first dance line to perform in our new stadium. The seniors took the honors at our homecoming game by dancing to You Spin Me Right Round. A close family has been formed by our hardships, victories, and sentimental moments. Dance line for supporting the class of 86. In past years, the Parkway Band has seen many victories and defeats. With pride and determination, we struggled through practices to put a halftime show together or to perfect a contest performance. Everyone gave 100%. The concert season came and we proved we were the best by making straight superior ratings. All these achievements could not have been possible without the most important person of all, Mr. Lunsford. With his words of advice, times of concern, and an occasional bad mood, he came to be considered more than just a teacher, instructor, or director, but a true friend. This year, a new dimension has been added to Parkway's curriculum. To help achieve graduation requirements, a seven-hour day was added. Last year, we succeeded in attending the National School of Excellence Award in Exemplary Academics. This installed a certain pride in the seniors that we carried throughout the year. Yet one of the most important parts of our four years at PHS is the special bond created between teachers and students. Our teachers teach us as much about life as they do about knowledge. They're as much a friend as they are a teacher. Thanks, faculty and teachers, for all the times you cared, listened, and shared with us a part of yourselves. Fall brought not only football to PHS, but also our new stadium. All the senior football players, including myself, looked at the stadium with pride and excitement. Being a senior made it all very special. Yet it also meant leadership and the constant awareness to set an example. This season, the Panthers set a record by going 5-0. and up. Yet it all came to an end too quickly. And I can remember tears came to our eyes as the final seconds ticked off the clock. This was it, our final game as the seniors of 86. The day 
entered Parkway, I never thought I'd be a senior. But those years have gone by quickly. Never did I imagine how I'd feel about Parkway after I traveled these four years. PHS is a place to be remembered and loved. When I became student council president, I wondered what I was in for. I can honestly say it was an experience I'll never forget. Now that my reign is over and the year is coming to an end, I look back and wonder. The years at Parkway High have been special for me. Now that I am graduating, all this is gone, lost in time, but all those special memories will still remain in my heart. This year, America has witnessed defeats and victories. Patriotism is once again at an all-time high. Through this, the class of 86 was caught in a moment of shock. Sadness in our hearts as history was made. A moment we will remember for the rest of our lives. Challenger, go and drop On January 28, 1986, seven brave, heroic Americans gave their lives unselfishly progress of a brighter future for all of us tomorrow. The senior class of 86 salutes and gives tribute to the space shuttle Challenger and its crew for their sacrifice. For what it stood for will forever be remembered in our hearts by the class of 86. ceremony. Everyone was excited, yet a little nervous, because we were taking the place of the seniors of 85 and becoming the seniors of 86. From that point, everything changed. Now the year is over and we can count the days left on one hand. Graduation is just around the corner. We're all excited, scared, sad, and ready to venture out and learn to be on our own. These past years have been the best. I wouldn't trade one of them in. We've learned so much, but we have so much left to learn. Let's not forget all the special times we had at Parkway. Homecoming. All the nights, or shall I say all the mornings we spent getting the floats ready. Decorating the halls, and we can't forget the senior party. I want to thank you, the class of 86, for everything. You are special to me. You've given me the best memories of my life. I will miss you all. Always remember, look forward, aim high, and reach for your goals. Thanks, Parkway. Thanks for everything. On a cool summer morning, May 8th of 1986, our year came to a close. As we turned in our last book, we also turned in our title as Parkway students. With many of us separating, we now realize that there are some we'll never see again. Yet the bond we created as seniors will always remain. For nothing can destroy that special feeling we created as friends of the class of 86.